Tennis is a racket sport. I'm a non-athlete and I know nothing about tennis and I don't even know where to start. Well, the good news is it's never too late to start. We turn to George Schildberg, former director of racket sports at the Arizona Country Club, to learn the basics of tennis. Starting with ground strokes, there are two, backhand and forehand. You have a slightly different grip on your forehand than your backhand. This is my forehand, an eastern forehand grip with your hand behind the racket. Mm -hmm. And when we go to the backhand side, you can just feel that that's inherently weak. So I'm gonna have you rotate your hand. Oh, I do feel that. And there's a slightly better position. The really important thing on your ground strokes is to, from the very start, learn to hit topspin. And all topspin means is instead of hitting the ball flush on, mm -hmm. we're gonna try to scrape up the back of the ball when we oh, hit the I ball, either with a forehand or a backhand because it produces something we call topspin, mm -hmm. and the flight pattern of topspin is a strong arc. And if you think about the two obstacles in tennis, you gotta get it over the net, and you gotta keep it inside the baseline. It takes care of both of those things. Next, volleys. A volley is when we're up at net and we take a ball before it bounces. The volley is the simplest shot in tennis if you keep it simple. Okay. It's a blocking motion. We wanna keep the ball out in front, and basically on a volley, Wherever your strings look, that's mm -hmm. where the ball will go. The net has eyes. The racket face. I knew I wasn't supposed to say net. What about my feet? You cannot have a good tennis stroke without good footwork. In tennis, we have two main movements. Moving to the ball, which mm -hmm. is pretty simple, running. Right, right. And then recovery. When we recover, we usually use sliding recovery steps. So run to the ball, slide back to the middle of the court. In tennis, I don't think you have to be fast per se, but you have to be quick. So master the ready to move position. All when right. you put your heels down on the ground, yeah. you are not ready to move. I need my so, heels up. Heels up, light on your feet, and I call it the three R's. Recognize the ball, react to it, and recover from it. If you take care of those three things, you can hit a great ball. Finally, the serve. The most difficult shot to learn, the most difficult shot to perfect. The serve is very much a throwing motion. But it requires limb independence. Remember the rub your belly, pat your yeah. head thing? It's that kind of thing, right? That's so the left hand has to toss yeah. while the right hand does its serving motion. Oh, that is, yeah. yeah. So my advice is practice your serve often. It's boring to practice, but it's probably the shot that really requires the most practice when you get started. We're hitting balls like a pro after learning the basics of tennis. <laughs>